Hey guys, so a few of you guys were asking if I can make an updated what's in my diaper bag video. I made one when SJ was around three months old, but um, I wanted to make another one just because he's grown up and um, it's just everything has changed a lot from what I've put in his diaper bag before. Okay, so this is my diaper bag and um, usually I had a traditional diaper bag that you would probably buy from like Toys R Us or Babies R Us when he was around three months old. And I liked it because I was able to carry a lot more stuff. But now that he's getting older, I realize I don't need to carry as much. And um, I like the look of this better than the diaper bag. Also, I got this from TJ Maxx for around $20. And it's just a basic bag and it's nothing in the middle. So it's kind of like a tote bag. It's just big and it's able to carry everything all at once. Okay, so when you first open the bag, the one thing that you're going to need, and don't forget it, everything else you can forget, but do not forget the diapers. And I have forgotten them once and it was not a fun time at all. I had to go out and buy more diapers and I didn't even need to buy more because I had enough at home. But yeah, so don't forget any diapers. And now that he's older, he's a year and four months, so I will bring around four diapers and this is only if I'm out for a couple of hours. If I plan on being out all day, I'll probably bring around six. He'll need a diaper change probably like once or twice while I'm out, but if I'm out less than around four hours then he probably won't even need a diaper change at all as long as I change him right before I leave. So I will bring around four diapers with me and this is just for like if I'm going out for a couple of hours. Also I like to use Pampers. I have not tried any other diaper brand yet. Um, Pampers I think is probably the most expensive and I noticed I have to get the ones that are extra dry or else the other ones will just break for no apparent reason. So, um, I mean, if you guys think Huggies are better or if there's another brand, definitely let me know because um, Pampers is friggin' expensive. Yeah. <laughs> okay, also, I will bring um, these to go. And I like the ones that have this cover because then what I could do is once this is empty, I will actually stick more in there. And then this, after a while, sometimes this will break off and so then I'll just buy another one. But Getting the ones with the top like this is great because it's resealable and you can just keep um, refilling it at home. Now I had this from my previous diaper bag but this is just like a diaper cover and this is really good for if you're out and you have to change him. Also I will bring with me a tiny bottle of Vaseline and this is really good because I don't have to carry around that big one and I can also refill it when I need to. Since it's gotten cold and um, Sean got sick last month, I also bring along with me some tissue. Also bring along an extra set of clothes for him and that's because um, he'll usually make a mess. And so just in case um, he does, I will have a set of clothes ready for him. I'll even bring along an extra set of um, socks and that's because sometimes he'll take off his shoes and socks in the car and he will usually like to either hold them, put them in his mouth, so I just want to make sure that he has an extra set. Along with the extra set, just in case I don't want the extra set to get messed up, I will bring along a bib so if we go out to eat, he will have a bib to wear and that way his clothes won't get messy. Now that he's gotten older and I'm not exclusively breastfeeding him anymore, he likes to snack. And um, I will bring along a little um, snack jar and I'll just fill this up with Cheerios or his favorite snack, which is usually Cheerios. So um, I'll fill this up and this is just good for a couple of hours. I mean, if I'm going for longer, then I'll also bring along like um, his little baby jar of food. So yeah. And I'll also bring along his sippy cup and I like this sippy cup because it does not leak. So this is perfect for in the car and um, that way it won't make a mess in the car. Now if we're going on long car trips, I'll always bring along a toy for him. So this is one of his favorite toys right now. And in fact, he's looking at me because he wants me to hand it to him. But this is a good toy for him. This is a musical toy, it'll keep him occupied. Usually he'll fall asleep, but when he wakes up, he'll want a toy. So I will bring him a toy. Also, since it's gotten colder, I will stick a blanket in his diaper bag or just put it in the car sometimes, just so that way, um, I'll be prepared if he's cold or not. And on top of that, if I'm going to like the supermarket or if I'm going to be running places where they will have shopping carts, I will also bring this. And this is a shopping cart cover. So this is great because he will like to suck on things and sometimes he'll like for fun try to bite on the shopping cart and so that way um, he's biting on his blanket and it won't have, be germy or anything like that. Also it has little um, toys on it so he likes to play with these when he's in the shopping cart and it keeps him preoccupied. I feel as if I'm forgetting something like I have something to mention but I don't know what it is. 
I still can't think of it, but that's how it is. I always will, I don't know, like as a mom, you're gonna forget things. That's just how it is. But I try to put these things in the bag at all times. So if there's anything else you guys want to know, any questions about anything, about raising a one-year-old, any questions at all, let me know and I will definitely answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you all with, the, with figuring out what to put inside your diaper bag. So um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.